I'm getting a workout, nothing else. They hope to break down barriers by building one. Right now we're uh, digging holes for putting in a fence, so I'm uh, digging a hole for a fence post, so. Warren Wilson College students volunteering at Isaac Dixon Elementary. Finally, a badly needed fence. So that we can uh, keep the kids from uh, running out into the road. Not to mention. Apparently there's a chicken or two. Service day isn't just Friday, it's a philosophy. I just love doing it, you know, it makes you feel good and it's a good way to get out. So on service day, students don't have to dig deep to learn something important. That there's lots of important work to be done off campus. And beneath the surface, yeah, it's pretty awesome. there's sheer joy. So I was pretty excited this morning. I was like, yes, I'm gonna go help people. And sometimes they do more than just help. And they came here to help us clean up the garden and learn about shallow. Clearing land full of possibilities. Their labor brings something special to the table. The Shiloh Community Garden is a source of organic fruits and vegetables. And we learn from them because they are so friendly, so nice, and they come from so many different places. So it's the simple solution to complex problems. Sometimes an army of volunteers can fill a huge void. In Asheville, John Lee, News 13. Well, that heavy wind and rain left plenty of damage across western North Carolina. There were the downed trees, the severed power lines, and one annual event in downtown Asheville was ruined. News 13's Emma Wright is live there tonight. Emma? Well, things are quiet down here now, but earlier today that was not the case. Here's a look at just some of the damage. The storm blew in quickly. Rain pounded and soon it was lights out for much of the city of Asheville. It gusted in, you know. I mean, I was afraid we were getting into a tornado here. The west side took a beating. The owner of this house on Hubbard Ave says his wife was sleeping when she got a rude awakening. Another tree ended up on this home in Montford. But downtown, breaking branches. The wind came up this way and, and uh, picked the tents up. And Broke McDonald Crosby's heart. It's like, you know, Losing children. For this potter from Tennessee, six months of hard work is in bits and pieces in Pack Square. We're very confident in the stoneware. It's very heavy and it stands up to that kind of wind, but it was a mess today. The storm whipped through Asheville's annual art in the park, toppling tents and tables. Vendors scrambled to save their work from the rain, but the storm was strong. We had our whole canopy come down on top of me. It was pretty wild. The art of cleanup isn't fun, but they'll be back again next week. You know, everybody's okay, thank goodness. Art in the Park will be back in Pack Square next Saturday. Artists say they are hoping for blue skies and sunshine, aren't we all? Live here in downtown Asheville, Emma Wright, News 13. A howling wind roared through the trees. Look at that tree swaying. Blowing snow clouded streets and traffic lights swayed. Power crews crept down an icy road near Edneyville. That one was down yesterday. People here are among the more than 800. Today, both of them. Who lost power across Henderson County. The one that's dangling up there, that was still hot. And it was hitting the transformer. You can see the burn marks on the side of the transformer. The strong winds toppled trees twisted lines and forced homeowners to make do. I don't have any television. That's that's my big problem. <laughs> but we're warm. I've got a camp stove for uh, for cooking and uh, as far as that goes, we're OK. In many places, drivers were turned back <laughs> by drifting snow that made seeing the road difficult. The drifts are easy to drive through. It's when you get on this stuff here that's the bad part. An icy slope sent John LaFlume into a ditch on Sugarloaf Road. I was going nice and slow, had my four-wheel drives going, and wind caught the tail end, and at that point, you just let it go. Even the tow truck that came to rescue him had its trouble, <laughs> leaving this driver thankful it wasn't worse. I could have been a few more feet down there, and I could have been over there. That's so right so there. I'm just kind of going, okay. <laughs> Spring begins one week from today, but lots of us are ready for the new season right now. And today, Mother Nature played along. Photojournalist Jacob Curtis shows us folks taking advantage of the day in downtown Asheville. Asheville just is really beautiful. It's got an amazing, just 
people and vibes. The music, the vibes, the energy. I've met people from all over the world sitting right here at this guest table at Princeton Park. I met a guy from Mombasa, Kenya, Africa. A lot of these people, they travel, and, and they are travelers. They come from far away. <laughs> Just riding around, just chilling. This one guy was yelling at her. Because I'm wearing a dress while riding a bike, he was yelling. He was like, it's okay, I, I wear a dress while I ride a bike all the time. So we decided to come up here because my brothers live here and Asheville's a great mm. place. The um, weather has been yeah. amazing and we've been really blessed this weekend. Yeah. Just hanging out in the sun. It's a great day for it. I enjoy coming uh, to the park and playing chess a lot. Hanging out, it's nice weather. Great day for it. You're like, you meet a bunch of random people who just talk to you and it's just cool. It's fun. We love you, Ashville. We love you. <sighs> You're the best. Yeah. See you soon.